hello i'm back with another stationery haul of things that i've recently purchased and wanted to share so this is a combination of a few things that i ordered that i recently received um so wanted to just talk about them together but let's go ahead with this order first so of course everybody has been talking about the recent uh 2023 release from traveler's company and i had to pick up a few things um i don't normally use traveler's notebooks that much i do have a few of them but they're not my main journals um but this year's theme was so cute i could not pass it up it is coffee and notebooks which is just perfect for fall and I purchased these from Pinky Elephant, which is a California-based stationery shop online. And um, I did that because they had the new release and a few other things that I had been looking at for a while and that I had in my cart. So I'll talk about that later. Um, but from the Traveler's Company collection, I really wanted the pencil boards because the graphics were just so cute. So I picked up the one in regular size, which I love the gold foiling and just all the different graphics. Um, and this is the first time I've purchased a Traveler's Company pencil board and they're definitely a lot more sturdy and substantial than the Hobonichi pencil boards, but still love those ones as well. And so you have the grid on the back and then the graphic on the front. I love that. And then of course I picked up the passport size as well because I just loved this graphic. You have like traditional Japanese cafe snacks and a little TN and then again the gold foiling, which is really nice. I loved this one and the grid on the back as well. So those will be really handy. And then I also picked up the passport size a clear folder because I liked this um, pattern better than the regular size um, and it's just a nice little tiny folder. Um, I carry my passport one journal with me in my purse so I figured this might be nice for receipts or little notes and things like that. I have seen some hacks where people kind of cut this open and create a folder insert so I might think about doing that but not so sure and then of course the last thing I picked up was the 2023 sticker set and it is just super cute I am very excited about this I was actually thinking about um, purchasing two sets just because I like the sticker so much but um, I kind of held back on doing that so the stickers are just very cute you have the gold foiling again and then you just have regular like planner stickers which can come in handy but i don't know if i'll really use them and then these are really cool they're transparent pocket stickers i believe so you stick them and they create little pockets really cute and so my plans for these stickers mainly were i love using my regular size travelers journal as a um, journal where I write about my different travels <laughs> and keep it as like a scrapbook. So I was I bought one of the craft paper folders and I was going to use it to keep all my ephemera and stickers and notes. So I thought I would um, use some of these stickers and kind of just decorate the front and that would look really cute in my TN. So here is my regular traveler's notebook in the blue color. I've only had it for a little bit um, and I've been logging some of my travels in here to London and I have just like a generic, I believe it's a Moterm pocket. And then I have my book journal in here and just for fun. Here's that pencil board. I really like it. It's so cute. I guess I should have got the regular size pocket folder as well. That would have been nice.
So the other traveler's notebook that I have that I use currently is the limited edition traveler's record passport size. I do also have a regular brown, what is it, camel colored traveler's notebook in the passport size that I use all the time. And I keep it in my purse um, just for like scribbling down lists and notes. Um, but this is just like the other one that I kind of have that I don't really use. I, I was trying to start like a music journal in this one, um, but I need to kind of pick that back up. And then I have like currently inked and ink lists of fountain pen inks that I have and trials. Um, I need to pick this back up again as well. And just for fun, here is the pencil board within the passport size journal. And then I also have this the sticker release B-Sides and Rarity book where I have just like a few stickers and washi samples, things like that. Again, I don't really use this one, but I do love it. And I have my like tried and true, really beat up traveler's passport in my purse that I keep. And then here is the tra uh, passport size um, clear folder. So I would probably keep it like in the back with like room for receipts or notes. Um, or I may try and use that hack and you kind of slice the bottom and make it into an insert and add sleeves for the sides. So yeah, that's my passport. So the two other things I picked up from Pinky Elephant Shop were these two items. One is this Lady F. Uh, rubber stamp. Um, I've had my this in my cart for a while. It went out of stock and then it came back in. So I went ahead and ordered it. This is the, the bookshop rubber stamp and this is bookshop number one. There are I think four different styles or something like that. Um, and I just love this one. It's really cute. It says retro um, because I just I love bookshops. So I figured this is a must and it's it's way bigger than I thought it would be. Um, so they also have like a cafe um, collection of rubber stamp ones, um, which I also have my eye on, but figured just um, purchase the bookstore one first because I really wanted that one. And this was a new release uh, recently. It's the Peon um, stamp style washi tape. This washi tape just has some really beautiful and feminine looking um, graphics in the shape of vintage stamps um, and I just really love this. I thought it would be really nice uh, to add to my daily journaling pages or scrapbooking and it's just really cute so glad I picked this up. Okay so then the last thing that I purchased recently is kind of a big thing. Um, it is a Twisby Eco limited edition version with um, the Japanese store Nagasawa um, in, in collaboration with this, this Japanese artist named Karashi Soel. Um, and I saw this on Job's Journal's YouTube video, recent video, and I was like, I have to pick it up. I've been really wanting to have that Twisby Eco like the yellow opaque version that came out a few years ago and I missed the opportunity and you can't really find it anywhere. So this limited edition just came out um, and it's a similar opaque yellow color, uh, but only available in Japan. Came from Japan and shipped very quickly. Um, here's some clips of unboxing the pen for the first time. I was really impatient, so I've already unboxed it and inked it up. Um, but it does come with a Twisby ink as well in midnight blue, which is, is great, but it's kind of a weird combination. I wish they would have chosen a more unique um, ink color to include, but I'm happy to have it. I've never tried Twisby ink, so we'll see how it is. Um, blue is not really my favorite ink color, but I'm sure I'll find some use for it. Um, so yeah, very excited about this. So this is the pen inked up. 
Um, I've been using it already because I was just really impatient and I love it. I chose to ink it up with an ink that I've had only recently. It's the Urban Lier de Thé, I believe is how you pronounce it. It translates to tea bound, which is really cute. Um, and it is like the perfect autumny, um, orangey, warm brown, which I really like. And I think it goes really well with this pen. At first I tried like a yellow ink that I have, but um, since I want to use this as a daily writing pen, it just didn't work out. So this is a really nice color for it and just for what I was looking for for the season. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you plan on purchasing anything from the 2023 Travelers Company collection or if you've already purchased items. Uh, thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.